All right, folks, we're in another place right here. Cali Luis sent us the directions for this. I have a feeling he might just stop by here. MCC Thrift Store, where every purchase is a gift to the world. Okay, maybe I need to come up with the slogan. See if that helps. Looks like they got quite a bit of stuff. Volunteers, volunteer needed help. Oh, I like the little guys. Those get around the corners really, really fast. Super fast. All right, let's go. From the windows, I saw these jerseys. It seems like a new rack they pulled out. One of them is going to be Breeze number nine. I forget the first name. I'm not really in the sports like I used to be back in the day. The military economy got out of the loop. But for $40, I'm definitely staying out of that loop of that jersey. But this one right here, when you usually see patches on a jacket like this, more of like NBA style patches, it might just be Jeff Hamilton. It's a good name to look up and very valuable designer who creates jackets and other garments with unique patches. Um, just look it up. But this one right here, World Series, Boston Red Sox, nine-time championship. I really like this jersey and I was hoping to get it for around 35 And looking at the price, it's far from it. Even with the stains on here, it's something a collector would probably want. But looking it up, you could get this for brand new online for a lot less like around sixty dollars depending on what you buy it may even be free shipping some sites are like that where you have to spend around seventy five dollars or a hundred dollars now denim jackets are something I always look into as well for females a lot of guys are always looking at guy stuff and women only looking at guy stuff but there are some vintage denim pieces that are worth looking out for especially when it comes to Levi's with orange tags this is one of the shoes I showed you and probably two videos ago when I was with Carla and Mama Dola in Las Vegas. If you look up that brand, you'll know why their price so high, but they're too high for me. They look to be in brand new condition and could probably make 120, 140 for them, but I want to spend less and make more off items. Now, vintage is one thing I've been learning a lot more of too. Marvin Martian is a character that's hard to come by. And for this being a little distress and cracking, I usually don't get it, but I like the pattern and it's very unique. This is vintage. I just sell for around 20. I do like the stripes across. Although Carla tells me don't wear stripes that are across like that because it makes me look bigger. Something about it. For me, it's not one of those things, but I am going to pick this up. Even with the flaws that are on here, they still sell. And I'm going to thank Whatnot for that. They really opened up a huge or many doors for distressed items, thrashed items, just items that people don't look at wanting to get. So thank you, Whatnot. And if you haven't already, follow me on Whatnot. Mikey and I are being more active on Whatnot and selling quite a bit of hard goods, but I do have a Whatnot clothing uh, for men and women coming up. So give it a follow and look at the link down in the description. This second stop is doing a lot more and giving. And I like some of the names that is coming across because they're just more of a higher end of, of the brands. And for $5, this almost made me wonder, did I see if there's a color of the day or week? I wanted to show you this because Nat Nast has made me quite a bit of money. A lot of people overlook Nat Nast and right here where I'm unbuttoning it, sometimes you'll find a label that shows more information to it that might be more of a 50s classic and just a more higher end more valuable nat nas shirt so keep an eye out when you're looking at brands and learn about them like nat nas because you may find that it may end up selling for forty dollars rather than not seeing the labels that i'm talking about and you're seeing comps at twenty dollars so there's a big difference and those little things go a long way let me know if you come across nat nas i've only come across maybe around nine shirts but i've made at least forty dollars up to I think a hundred and five one was very unique right up above the shirts I ended up seeing some hokas hoka one one is a really good brand people talk about them a lot but you may be new to them so why not share more information fill in the gaps where we miss out on following other creators so with this one looking at the price 50 buckaroos really good condition is it worth reselling for me maybe but I wouldn't get that much profit 
I would like to double or triple. These are Bondi 7s. I've sold two of these pairs brand new to the same person on eBay for $120. The person bought one. I messaged them saying, hey, I got another one if you're interested in it, and I'll give you a discount. And they were more than willing to take both of them. So don't feel bad reaching out to people on eBay and saying if you have other things that aren't listed. Another Nat Nas shirt. I put it down, put it back. It's a luxury one. Brand new with tags. And this reminds me. Did I get this one? I still got some unpacking to do and listing to do. But we're preparing for the big day. On the 25th, it's the grand opening of the Good Stuff Thrift Store. On top of that, it's also um, the day before tomorrow, Tuesday, the 21st. Mikey and I and hopefully other resellers are going to meet up at the Goodwill Bins. It's his birthday and I'm very happy to be part of Mikey's life and him be part of my life. Now, um, we'll share with you more content of that day tomorrow from the event. We're going to go hang out at the Bins. Now, this is a brand I do like to look out for, West Art. A lot of times you end up finding them only up to around a large or smaller this is the first time I come across a blank one so I'm investigating every little thing because I get super excited I get it home after paying for it and then realize there's some flaws now West Ark for this and being a very large size and I'm thinking California LA dollar LA Dodgers and customizing on it that's what I think about when I come across blank apparel it's a blank canvas now every snap on here worked and I'm checking every little one because I bought a shirt and the only thing I didn't check was the cuffs and unfortunately one of the buttons on the cuffs on a snap uh, pro snap shirt uh, it's probably gonna take away from the valley but with this jacket it should make around sixty dollars or more this is a brand that I love Ariat FR fire retardant you want to look out for these they usually have a number on the back of the belt loop which usually has cat one two three four or more um, i've only come across two but they're really good pants i've sold them for 45 dollars up to 65 dollars and i've even got some complaints on instagram from people saying that there's never sell for that much now for me i put all the information in and i talk about this often I put in the waist measurements and I make sure that when I'm adding the measurements, I put the measurements I take of say the waist and the leg seam in the title and in the description, I clarify that it doesn't match the label and these are my approximate measurements. I've never really had any issues with that and it works out because when somebody gets something, at least you could fall back and point out, hey, it's in the description. And usually they try them on and it's okay. I end up coming across some Selvage Levi's. Now the tag on here is ruined, but it is an orange tag and any Levi's that has an orange tag, you wanna check. One thing I also learned is that that back pocket, if there's one stretch across, they call that single stitch for jeans. I didn't know that up until a few months ago. So for these, I'm pretty sure I can make around $40 or more. But again, I'm gonna add information from the waist, leg inseam, leg opening, rise, also mention if it's a button fly or zipper fly and all pants like these that have the belt on it the belt loops that's called belted so um it's a little funny because you could see it but some people want that mentioned and it might be keywords that pop up inside uh, ebay's algorithm or however it works now this style right here this pants um the blue jeans are going to be more like a stone wash and these are heavy red stitching. Some people do mention that. And hopefully it plays out that these end up making me around $40 to $50. Now this is also vintage with the paper tag. And you can see the date up on the inside. It's going to be... I can't see it from here. But do some research of what it goes by. Oh, there it is. It was January, February, March. March 1989 is when it was made. It was the top left corner of that paper tag. So again, I should get around $40 to $50 for these. The chicken is zipper works. And even the zipper, if you look at the zipper and it has the wordings Talon spelled out, that's also important to mention. A lot of people look for that for some reason. And if you want to learn more and you have Levi jeans or other types of jeans that you can't get any information, information on, check out some Facebook groups. That's what I do myself. I'm also looking if this is restitched at the hem of the leg opening, and I don't think they are. It seems to be matching and seems to be alright. They also don't seem short.
a lot of times I end up getting some really large pan sizes and they're re-altered at the leg inseam. Now this one was new to me with the leather tag of Levi's. I don't think I've come across leather tag Levi's. And for me, I think I'm gonna put it back, but I'm looking for the labels. The labels could tell you more than anything. If they're paper tags, if there's one label, it means it's at least early 2000s or older. If it has more labels than just um, like one, two or three labels or watermark on there, usually that's more of a modern type. Again, orange tag, I got a big E right here, 2001. It doesn't mean it's vintage, but these are really good signs. And the pattern on this definitely got my attention. Looking more into it, I will show you. I'm looking at the drag if there's any. And I don't think this is a selvage jean. There's two styles, and I forget what type of style that is. Uh, I'll look it up and I'll mention it in another video. But there's a, there's a button fly right there. And then on the inside, fresh leaves, Justin Timberlake. Brands like this do collaborations with artists. Right there where I'm pointing at has a number of what the pan is, which if, if it was 502, 501, 5 whatever, it's usually marked on the inside. Sometimes it's hard for me to see, so I just take a photo with my camera, as our iPhone, and then I just zoom in and expand what the number is. So that way I ensure that it's legit. Just little markers to find out and follow. Mavi is a really good name. I usually find these at Goodwill near me up here in Vegas, but they're usually going for around $20 and I always leave them behind. I should probably pick them up because it's still worth the get, but for this one for $7, this is uh, definitely gonna be a good grab. So far so good with jeans. It's one of those things where you wish you would've just stopped at the jeans and started there. Because before what I showed you, I was in the hard goods section and there was a lot, a lot, a lot of buzzards like, eh, nope, eh, eh. and it, I'm really relieved that towards the end of our little shopping here that I'm finding some very, very good jeans for really decent prices. And this is making it all of worth things. it. Huh? I had to go to my go-to jeans. I've been ready, waiting on you. <laughs> I invested sixty-one dollars and forty-two cents. I spent a dollar fifty. If I could sell a jacket that I got for eight dollars, that should get me into profits with everything else that I got. I got me some fancy Barbie furniture from nineteen ninety-four for seventy-five Ooh. cents. I love the pattern. It's retro. Sell that to 90s. And then it got me a 2003 Motu. This reminds me like of universe in and living color. It, yeah, exactly. And uh, Dragon for 75 cents. You know what? I got this and I'm like, we don't even have space. <laughs> Just have to throw it out, man. <laughs> Gotta sell it all tomorrow. Is anything gonna fall? Look at this, folks. Packed to the max. Car is impatient behind me. There's two stalls, but they got to come right next to me. Me and Carrie have done that before. We've been out thinking the car was full, but we've got Next on sunny Las Vegas. Back again with Don. This looks... Uh, the like, Don Dada. By being decent. We are at... I'll show you where we're at. We are at Salvation Thrift Store Donation Center. Hope the guy... Hopefully we find some good stuff to resell for big, big profits. Or at words. least a dollar into six bucks. <laughs> and then Don's gonna buy cookies. Nope, we can't have cookies, we're on diet. You don't put words in my mouth, lady. We ain't putting a cookie in there either. <laughs> 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 Thanks for watching. We still have several more videos to share with you. So make sure to like, subscribe, keep commenting me. Come in at me. <laughs> Tomorrow, February 21st, Tuesday, is going to be Mikey Shirt Day. It's also going to be his birthday, folks. So if you can't make it, please go visit Mikey's channel. 
or and it or or <laughs> comment down below happy birthday mikey and also if you rock a mikey inspired t-shirt for mikey shirt day um send us those videos or put it up online and tag us in it tag mikey in them more than anything and also we would love to share them and the reseller cartel facebook page if you want to see more of that or follow that uh we're trying to figure some things out well i am not it's not as user friendly as it used to be but i'm getting there privacy is everything so thanks for watching folks hope to see you tomorrow tomorrow at the meetup at the goodwill bins at 10 a.m and then we'll probably be there till noon hope to see you there i hope that you find some goodies and have a have a good day check out these videos right here